All right, we're going to use G power to calculate the minimum sample size needed to run a one-way between group ANOVA. Okay, so there's got to be a minimum of three groups to run the ANOVA. So let's pull up our G power. So to run the ANOVA, the ANOVA is in the F test family. Okay, there are other F tests besides the ANOVA, but that's the main guy here, F test. So we go to the statistical analysis and uh, be careful here. There's a lot of them that look the same. Uh, this is ours right here. One way. That means one categorical IV. One IV with a bunch of different levels. The Omnibus F and fixed effects. That's us. Click on that one. Bam. And so they use Cohen's F for an effect size where over here we use Eta squared. But that's, that's fine. We can translate them quite easily. So the medium uh, effect size is again at is is picked by the software. Critical alpha is always 0.05 unless it tells it, and our power is oh we changed it down to 0.8. So let's pretend our ANOVA had three groups, right? We want to see if there is a significant difference in job satisfaction scores between the managers the staff and the executives okay so there's three groups that's one IV one category variable called position job position and with three levels staff managers and executives so this is all set up we would click calculate and it's a pretty big number right 159 so ANOVAs are famous for needing big sample sizes so that was with three groups what if we had five groups Right, we had staff, managers, executives, and we throw in the marketing department and the shipping department. So there's five groups. Watch how big this number goes up. Uh, we could change that to five. We recalculate. Right, it went up to 200. So it, it adds about 20, 25 people per level of your IV. Just keep that in mind. But that's it. MGZ out.